Now, when I say 110,000 information officers, that's exactly what I mean, which staggers the mind. I can't imagine any organization being able to uh, put forth such a propaganda army besides the World Economic Forum. But that's exactly what happened. So when you try to explain to the average person, people you care about, your family, friends, co-workers, uh, people at your church, just how big of the scope of the, the scope of control is over people, come up with quotes like this, 110,000 information officers. It's really quite remarkable. We really studied behavioral science um, in the social media age and concluded you know, with, with the experts that we consulted that there is something that individuals can do um, to stop the spread of misinformation or at least to slow it. I mean, it's not all up to the individuals, but it can help. And that is really um, to just become your own investigator, to be, uh, you know, hesitant. So we, we're trying to create this new social norm called pause, take care before you share. So that in the back of your mind, when you're on Twitter, when you're on Facebook, when you're looking at YouTube, you take that pause and you say, hmm, this is information is causing my heart to kind of palpitate. <laughs> Maybe it's too good to be true. Maybe I need to go and check the source, the date. Is that photo really real? So we're equipping people through this new social norm with a bit of information skepticism. Um, so part of this uh, verified uh, and pause campaign uh, entails also recruiting people around the world. And so far we've recruited 110,000 information volunteers. And we equip these information volunteers uh, with the kind of knowledge about how misinformation spreads and uh, ask them to serve as kind of digital first responders um, in those spaces where misinformation travels. And that is in groups, uh, peer to peer, um, and also to share our, our good information. So this is the initiative and we're going to keep it going because misinformation continues to surge.